Hey, how you doing? Mr. Dead Man of Hard Talk Radio, also of Rant and Chill, a stream, a live stream I do just about every day at noon, where I talk about things that we can all sort of relate to, get things off my chest, and just sort of chill out with the chat and hang out and uh, answer questions. If you like that sort of thing, make sure you sub and hit the bell button. Let me ask you guys something. Do y'all feel like your home is sacred, like your home is your home, and that no one should break in? And if someone were to break in, that you should be free to handle that as you see? If, I mean, if, if they're going to break into your home... Threaten your family. You should be able to take care of that, right? Right? You shouldn't have to be at the mercy of some burglar who has a gun or any other weapon trying to threaten you to do things. Try to threaten you for, could be possessions. Could try to threaten you for, act, who knows what they want to do, right? They already made the big mistake of breaking into your home. Violating, violating your rights, violating your safety. Texas and Texas have the Castle Doctrine Law, which allows you, which allows you to defend your home, and rightly so. If you don't agree with that, well, I guess I lost you, and I think you are an idiot. <laughs> it's just that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> the Democratic Party in Texas is insane. This post is real. When I saw this, I had to I had to fire up uh, OBS and do this this video real fast. Uh, in Texas, State Representative Terry Meza, Democrat of course, has introduced an HB 196. Her bill would repeal the state's Castle Doctrine. This doctrine allows a homeowner to use deadly force against an armed intruder who breaks into his home. Rightly so. And this is what she has to say. She says, I'm not saying that stealing is okay, Meza explained. All I'm saying is that it doesn't warrant a death penalty. What warrants a death penalty is breaking into the home with a weapon to threaten people. To threaten people. Because you have no idea what they're going to do. It's not a movie where you can talk them down. It's not like that. Real life scenarios, real life situations like that are very quick. Adrenaline's pumping. And if they're armed, you can't take chances. She, go, she adds, these only carry weapons for self-protection. You hear that? Thieves only carry weapons for self-protection. To protect them against you, the homeowner. Listen to this person. This person owns a home. What happens, someone, what happens when someone breaks into her home? Not saying to do it. Oh, she probably has armed security. She probably has a panic room. Must be nice. And she adds that. And to provide the householder an incentive to cooperate. Oh, how nice. How sweet is that? Oh, the only reason why these have guns is because self-defense and... So that you will cooperate. They just want to get their loot and get away. Well, I don't want them to get my loot. I know their possessions, but it's my property. It's my stuff. It's my stuff. You break into somebody's home. You. You threaten them, man. You threaten them with force. You threaten their safety. And you bet your ass. You bet your ass. You're going to get the business end of a shotgun. Uh, they only want to get their loot and get away. When residents tries to resist is when people get hurt. So don't resist. If someone were to burglarize uh, Terry Meza's place, would she cooperate and give them everything? I mean, what, what, if, what if they're asking for access to your wife? Or access to your daughter. What if they're asking for crazy things? Right? What if they're asking for insane things? Sounds like my dog must be part of this. See? See? Even my dog is... Can't, can't hold back. Terry, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous right here. This, this is not going to pass. There's no way this passes. She adds... Uh, Meza was quick... Meza was quick to reassure that her bill would not totally prevent homeowners from defending themselves. Under the new law, homeowners' obligation is to flee the home. That's right. 
That's right. You have a wife and kids at home. Someone breaks in. What you guys need to do is, to do is flee. Run away. Let the homeowner take your home. I mean, let the, let the burglar take your home. I can't believe this is so absurd. My brain is having a hard time processing this because it's so absurd. I can't believe I'm reading this. It's just insanity right here. If fleeing is not possible, he must cooperate with the intruder. The Texas government wants to tell me to cooperate with the intruder. What if the intruder tells me to drop on my knees and service him? It could happen. If the intruder... According to Terry, Terry says you got to do what the intruder says. What if the intruder was like, I see you have a daughter there. I'm going to go into her room. But sir, sir, no. Terry here, Terry said that you got to cooperate. You got to cooperate. Are you going to cooperate? Otherwise, I'm going to put you down and you can't do anything about it. I can't believe this. See, Terry Meza lives in the comfort of security. She knows that she's safe. She doesn't want you to be safe. Doesn't warrant a death penalty. There's some things I do. When you violate someone's safety like that, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, that type of person who has the nerve to break into someone's home with a arm like that oh they're 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 expecting the worst man they're ready to kill they're ready to be killed they're ready to kill and they're ready to be killed that's what it is man they're coming in with intent anyway but if violence breaks out it is the homeowner's responsibility to make sure no one gets hurt so you, you can't even bruise them? You can't even injure them? You can't even maim them? Oh my god, I want to throw this phone. I want to throw this phone. The best way to achieve this is to use minimum non-lethal force possible because intruders will be able to sue for any injuries. Dead people don't sue. That's why when you do shoot, you know what to do. In most instances, the thief needs the money more than the homeowner does. Oh, because there's not already government assistance. It's not like um, my tax dollars aren't already going towards government assistance. Shut up. Needs it more than me. I don't want to break in your home, fucking asshole. Terry Meza. She should be fired. You know how you fire a politician? You don't vote for them. You vote them out. If you're a Democrat and you believe everything she says, you want you want to know what I honestly think of you? You're a goddamn idiot. You're a goddamn idiot, and it's reaching point. I don't know, man. <laughs> like this makes no sense, and and you know you're a goddamn idiot too. If someone breaks into your home, you're not going to be doing what she said. No, 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 no. You're going to remember my words or someone else who said, "Hey, hey, you should be able to stand your ground." That's exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, if you like this sort of video, press the like button, share, subscribe, okay? On this channel, I do talk about stuff like this every now and then. Every now and then. That's a particular issue that really gets me. Gets under my skin. I'll talk about other things too. Okay? Kind of varied here. Y'all have a good one.